I'm Roy Lee Lindsay with the North Carolina Pork Council, and I want everyone to remember, bacon makes everything better. Hi everybody, welcome back to the David Glenn Show, now seen and heard exclusively here on the North Carolina Sports Network. Our next guest has been one of the best college basketball players in the state of North Carolina this season, and he is the winningest player in the history of Appalachian State basketball. Donovan Gregory, a fifth-year player and four-year starter for the Mountaineers, recently received first-team honors in the Sun Belt Conference after helping his team, one of the best in App State Hoops history, to a sparkling 26-5 regular season record, an awesome 16-2 mark in conference play, and the league's regular season championship. During his high school days in Charlotte, Donovan was a first-team All-State selection and a two-time state champion at Carmel Christian School. Starting this Saturday in Pensacola, Florida, he and the Mountaineers will try to win three games in three days to earn what would be the school's fourth conference title and fourth NCAA tournament bid in its 50 plus years as a division one program. Donovan Gregory, welcome to the David Glenn Show and the North Carolina Sports Network. How are you? I'm doing good, how you doing? I'm doing very well, Ex excited to talk with you in part because my own daughter is an App State student and has been along for this great ride you and the basketball team and the football team have provided. Uh, but let me start here. When I talk to your high school coaches and ask for a brief description of you, they use the word winner. When Coach Kearns was on the show and I asked for a brief description, he used the word winner. Now that you are officially the winningest player in App State basketball history, if you were talking to a young person on how to be a become a winner, what would your advice be? Um, personally, I would just say, you know, find – other ways to impact the game um, other than scoring. Um, growing up uh, high school, um, I kind of got put all around the place, you know, playing guard, playing big. And, you know, at the time, I don't really think I liked it. But going into college, um, it allowed me to be a more of a versatile player and be able to, you know, play small ball some, bring the ball up the court, facilitate. And, you know, that just allowed me to stay on the court and, you know, just – Winning is the main reason why I play. Um, it's something that I take a lot of pride in. Um, the coaches that grew that I grew up playing for um, always took a lot of pride in, and I give a lot of credit to my high school coach, Coach Byron Dinkins, um, very successful high school coach in North Carolina. And you know, I've been with him since sixth grade, and you know, still to this day, we still reach out and talk to each other. But he just kind of implemented that mindset for me, and it's you know something that I've always you know, stuck by and just winning is, like I said, something I take huge pride in, you know, coming in my freshman year, um, App State wasn't really known too much for being a winning program. And, you know, Coach Kearns made it clear how much he cared about winning. And, you know, we decided that's what we're going to do here. So it's nice to see us make it happen. Well, that might have answered my next question because I knew the coach who originally recruited you to App State of course, Jim Fox was fired five years ago, um, and you had been recruited by him, I remember, like since your sophomore year of high school. So what was it when you learned that Coach Kearns was going to be the coach that made you follow through on that original commitment and stay with the Mountaineers rather than reopening your recruitment or ending so ending up somewhere else? Yeah, I mean, I had knew Coach Kearns. Um, he had talked to me a little bit while he was at Wofford, and you know, I was – real close with the Walker coaching staff as well, just being so close to Charlotte. And uh, Coach Kearns just, you know, made it clear to me that, you know, he wanted to win and uh, change things it up. And, you know, just I wanted to be a part of that. And, you know, I trusted him. Uh, you know, he came down to Charlotte, him and the coaching staff had an in-home visit with my family. And I just felt like it was the right decision for me to stay. My family and I have been to some games at The Rock, in part because my daughter is a student there. I've also been to, to your games. When you were a young man in the Charlotte area, did you and your family have a lot of experience with App State? Uh, or was that only on your radar as part of the recruiting process? 
Yeah, I mean, it was only on my radar as part of the recruiting process. But, um, you know, they recruited me kind of early. So, you know, I had been around ninth grade all the way up until I came here. So, you know, I've seen those teams that would just go out there, you know, win by 40 every night. And, you know, just being able to see that as a young kid was something that was very special to me. Um, it was a great family environment from the start. There are college basketball teams nowadays, Donovan, where more than half the players on the team are transfers. I think your team has only one major college transfer. And of course, of course, you have one really good junior college transfer that I'll ask you about later. But some of y'all with the Mountaineers right now have been together as teammates for three years, four years, even five years. What is it about Coach Kern's program or App State University that has so many guys wanting to spend that entire career, in your case, five full years in Boone, rather than doing what so many guys are doing these days, jumping into the transfer portal? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm big on loyalty, and, you know, Coach Kearns is big on loyalty as well. And um, me and him developed a very close-knit friendship. And, you know, I just feel like this is the right place for me. Uh, you know, just having friends that play college basketball, um, you get to see and, you know, hear – personal stories and, you know, it's not always greener on the other side. And, you know, I've been here pretty much my whole college career and, you know, I've been successful here. So I never felt the need to even think about leaving. You guys are having one of the best seasons in school history right now, but you also had an amazing season three years ago when you won the Sun Belt Championship and, of course, made the NCAA tournament. Did you watch March Madness on TV a lot when you were a young guy? And if so, what do you remember about watching on TV? And then what it was like, what was it like to finally be a part of that big dance yourself? Yeah, I mean, just being a part of basketball, you know, that's the best time of the year. Um, just from a kid, even now, um, it's something that I've always enjoyed watching. And, you know, it's something that as a basketball player, it's something that you want to be a part of. So just to be able to do that, you know, with those teammates, and, you know, we were a special team, real close with each other. And just especially during COVID, uh, everything was a lot different that year. So I felt like it just made it a little bit more special just with all the adversity we had to overcome throughout that year. And it was just a crazy experience on, you know, probably the only COVID, you know, March Madness that there will ever be. So just being able to say I was a part of that is a huge accomplishment. About a year ago, last March, soon after your senior season ended, I remember you tweeting, App Nation, I am back, exclamation point. Uh, what were the biggest reasons you wanted that fifth year of college basketball, which, of course, you got because of the COVID situation and that extra NCAA year of eligibility? Yeah, I mean, just uh, last year I felt like, you know, I didn't leave it all on the table and, you know, just – wanted to come back this year and make it better than the last year. And, you know, um, it was the right decision. Uh, I talked to my parents about it a lot, and they felt like it was the right decision. So it's a decision we made as a family, and, you know, it ended up working out great for us. The Lawson Insurance Group in Raleigh is a family-owned business led by three actual brothers who happen to be huge sports fans, Ken Lawson, Miller Lawson, and Michael Lawson. I know these guys, I trust these guys, and I send these guys my own insurance business and that of my family. The next time you have insurance needs, I hope you'll do the same. The Lawson Insurance Group is known for its commitment to community and its dedication to ensuring that North Carolinians and their businesses are prepared for life's inevitable challenges with the reminder that as a high street insurance partner, Lawson Insurance Group offers local expertise and support that combined with high street's extensive national resources means more choice and support for you as their client. To learn more, search Lawson Insurance Group online. The Lawson Insurance website will be the first link that pops up. I know your focus is on the Sun Belt Tournament, but I want to ask you briefly about a game from earlier this year. Auburn right now is ranked number 13 in the entire nation, and y'all beat the Tigers in Boone back in early December, and that was one of the biggest regular season wins in the history of App State basketball. What do you remember most about that game, and do you think, looking back, that beating a highly ranked opponent from the SEC – changed how you and your te teammates kind of look at yourself or your confidence level? Yeah, I mean, just 
you know, having a sold out game, ESPN game in Boone, um, you know, it's something that you kind of dream about. Um, we've been talking about this game since we played them at Auburn during my COVID year. And, you know, for it to finally be here, you know, it was just a surreal feeling. And just having that support by the fans, you know, the school, and actually being able to go out there and win in front of a home crowd, I think that kind of set the tone for, you know, the rest of the season and gave us a ton of confidence. What was the aftermath of that win like, either on campus that night or maybe even how your professors or your fellow students reacted to you and your teammates in the days after that big win? It was crazy. Uh, everywhere, you know, everybody's recognizing you, uh, telling you congrats on the win. You know, it's a great experience. Uh, people still talk about it to this day, so it was great for us. His name is Donovan Gregory. He is a first-team all-sunbelt selection. He was also all-sunbelt a year ago. He's now a fifth-year guy with App State. I say guy because you can call him a guard, you can call him a forward, just call him a basketball player. He is an excellent one and one of the best in recent App State history. Uh, this year's team is actually fourth in the nation as we interview you in field goal percentage defense. And two of the teams ahead of you, Tennessee and Houston, might end up as number one seeds in the NCAA tournament. What is the best way to explain how you, your coaches, and your teammates have become – one of the best defensive teams in the nation and embraced Coach Kearns' philosophy on that side. Yeah, I mean, since I've been here my freshman year, uh, defense is something that we kind of take pride in. Um, you know, it's a big separator for us in, you know, winning and losing games. And I think this year I would say that, you know, everybody's bought in. And, you know, when we're all on the same page, I think it's really hard to score on us. And, you know, we got Justin Apson, Trayvon, CJ down there blocking shots. And then, you know, we have bigger guards like me and Xavion, but we also have, you know, smaller quick guards that can call up into you like Miles, Jordan, T. So just having, you know, the depth like that, um, it's been good for us this year. Just being able to, you know, not really have any mismatches with any teams and being able to guard a lot of teams, it's just been good for us. You mentioned that home court atmosphere at the home center. You all finished 15-0 and there this year. And that was the program's first undefeated season at home since 1967, which is even before I was born, Donovan. I mean, that's a long, long time ago. App Nation also set the home center season attendance record. How would you describe how dramatically that home court atmosphere has changed from whatever you witnessed as a recruit when the Mountaineers were not winning as much to however you think you experienced it this season? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've been going to app games since, you know, eighth grade, summer, ninth grade. And, you know, I would come to some games, it would be maybe 200 people there. And then my freshman year, you know, it's maybe 500, 600 people at a game. And, you know, to have that place sold out uh, multiple times a season and, you know, get games on ESPN, it's just like crazy to see everything come full circle. And, you know, I think that us being 15 and 0 at home was direct correlation to, you know, the fans and the support we had all season. The original Salt Works has become a legendary breakfast, brunch, and lunch place in Wilmington for both locals and out of town visitors over the last 50 plus years. Our good friend Bob Hubbard owns the place, but he's also the one cooking your food and often roaming the dining room to greet you with a smile and to make sure your visit is a great one. Bob has been running the show at this unique roadside diner for more than 20 years now, and he and his friendly, hardworking staff aim to treat you like one of their own. Try Bob's homemade omelets, or special recipe grits for breakfast, or his legendary cheeseburgers for lunch. The Original Salt Works, your breakfast and lunch choice on Oleander Drive in Wilmington. 7,000 plus for home games in Boone for the Mountaineers. You had your senior night last Friday. That can be a very emotional thing for a lot of guys. I know you all beat Arkansas State. You clinched that first outright regular season title since 1979 for the Mountaineers. How many friends and family were able to get to Boone to support you on your big night? And besides the victory, what was the most meaningful or memorable part of that senior night experience for you? Yeah, I mean, a lot of my family came. Um, I probably had around 20 people there to watch me wow. just from Charlotte. And, you know, just 
thinking back um, a year ago, we lost on my senior night and, you know, just how much everything has changed. I think the most memorable thing for me was just, you know, seeing how proud my parents were and, you know, just seeing how happy Coach Kearns was, the whole coaching staff, being able to, you know, clinch the outright regular season at home on senior night. You know, it was just a great day all around. You know, everything went the way you pictured it to go. So it was a crazy experience. Um, I'll probably remember that day for the rest of my life. I know in college locker rooms, there are some guys who are very emotional and the tears are going to flow on senior night. Other guys are just a little bit more even keeled, at least on the outside. Where do you fit on that spectrum? Um, it was a little emotional, but kind of emotional to the point where it made me, you know, lock in and just want to go out there and get the win for my teammates and the coaching staff, you know, just all the hard work we put in, um, being able to play at home one last time in the home center, you know, it was a special day for me. So you're a tunnel vision kind of guy. I think that's a big part of your success. I respect that before the season. The Sun Belt coaches knew you well enough to vote you onto the All Sun Belt first team, and of course, you end up making the All Sun Belt first team just this week. Your teammate Trayvon Spillers, a junior college transfer, he was not mentioned by the league's coaches back in the preseason, but he led y'all in scoring, led y'all in rebounding, and joined you on the All Sun Belt first team that was just announced. When did you know, as his teammate? that Trevon was uh, was going to be a special player. And how would you describe his game to those who haven't seen him play? Yeah, I mean, I think I knew in the summer, um, you know, just he plays hard. Uh, he's a dog out there. You know, he may be an undersized big, but, you know, he makes up for it. He's going to block shots, you know, dunk the ball, play aggressive, rebound, you know, pretty much do it all down there. And, you know, just the way we play um, is great for him. And, you know, I think that he fits this team perfectly. And, you know, it's been amazing to watch his success this year. Another guy who received a very big honor recently was your guy, Dustin Kearns, the Sun Belt Coach of the Year. How do you summarize as his player what makes him a great coach? Yeah, I think, you know, I always say this, uh, what makes him such a good coach is just, you know, his urge to win. And, you know, he just has the mindset where he's never satisfied. And I think that's just what makes him and our coaching staff so good, you know, how bought in. They are just to the process and, you know, everything's process oriented and how much they want to win. So it's just paying off. As we let you go and thank you for your time, regardless of how the rest of the season goes, how would you hope that App Nation remembers Donovan Gregory when your time in Boone is done? Yeah, I mean, I just hope that I can leave a positive impact on, you know, everybody that I've interacted with. Um, I hope that everybody knows that, you know, I gave my all for App State and, you know, I love it here. So, you know, just these past five years, um, it's been a crazy journey. But at the end of the day, I just think that, you know, I gave my all for Appalachia. That is Donovan Gregory, the winningest player in the history of App State basketball. Thanks to Donovan for dropping by. And thanks to all of you all across North Carolina and beyond for joining us today on the David Glenn Show and the North Carolina Sports Network.